Hello and welcome to our channel Webways. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a wish list icon to your Shopify store. To properly understand this tutorial, please watch till the end. And to get a link for the website and other discounts, please check the description below. So the first thing you do is to open your Shopify store. And on the left hand side where you have the menu buttons, you would see add apps right underneath. So simply tap on add apps. And then Shopify suggests some apps that may suit your store. You're going to ignore this and go down to find more apps in the Shopify app store. So simply tap on Shopify app store. And when it brings you to a screen like this, on the search bar, type in wish list. When you do that, it's going to bring up a ton of wish list apps that you can add to your Shopify store. So you can see that there are a lot of them here. There's a lot of wish list apps that you can integrate with your Shopify store, and the list goes on and on. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use Wish List Plus as it has a free plan available. Some others also have free plans available. Some have 30 day free trials and all. Okay, but you can test them out, but we're going to be sticking with Wish List Plus. So we'll tap on Wish List Plus, just tap on it. And then it brings you to a page that gives you details about the Wishlist Plus app and how it will work for your store. So simply scroll down and see the features that the Wishlist Plus app offers. As you can see, the first one says it seamlessly integrates with your Shopify theme. Send email alerts for low stock, restock and price drops. Sales and service team access for high touch collaboration. Reduce cart abandonment by enabling shoppers to save products for later. Allow customers to share wish lists via email, text message, and social media. The essence of the wish list app is simply to increase your conversions by ensuring that people who landed on your store but couldn't immediately purchase your products are able to wish list those items so that they can come back to get them. It also helps you to be able to reach out to these people, retarget them, and bring them back into your store to buy your products. Now, let's look at the pricing for the Wishlist Plus app. And as you can see here, we have four tiers of pricing. There's the free plan, there's the starter plan, there's the pro plan, and there's the premium plan. The free plan is free forever, and it has easy code-free setup, up to 100 Wishlist items per month. 20 save for later items per month, share wish list, and up to 5,000 sessions per month. The starter plan starts at $14.99 per month. The pro plan starts at $49.99, and the premium plan starts at $99.99 per month. And you can scroll right down to see the reviews of other people who have used this app. The next thing to do is to tap on add app. So we'll tap on add app and it will bring us to a screen like this. We're going to select the Shopify account we want to use. I'll just select that very quickly and I'll quickly log into my account. All right, so you can see where it says install the Wishlist Plus app right at the top right hand here you will see install app and you if you scroll down you will see what the wish list app is going to be doing it will access customer and store information and also edit customer and store information and these are the information that this app can access on your store contact information location device information store owner information and all okay and if you're okay with this just tap on install app so we'll tap on install app.
right and it will bring you to a screen like this where you're going to put in a few details so the first bar says please tell us your name so you simply put in your name there and your email address And then it says, how can Wishlist Plus help you? And there are a lot, there are about four options that you can choose from. Bring shoppers back to your store, reduce abandoned carts, convert guest users into customers, help shoppers track products they love and other. I'm going to select the first one. Now you can pick whichever choice best suits you, but I'm sticking with bring shoppers back to your store and then you tap on continue. All right, and then you're going to select a plan. They automatically highlight the pro plan, right? But we're going to stick with the free plan because this is the free forever plan. Of course, we need to test out how the wish list plus app works before we can subscribe for the premium plans. Okay, and so now it brings us to a page where we begin to customize our wish list icon. Now it says, how should the launch points be exposed on your site? As you customize on the left-hand side, just watch the right-hand side to see what it will look like. So if you select as a floating button, this is where your wish list icon will be. If you select as a navigation menu item, your wish list icon will be up here at the nav navigation menu here. You can see it there. If you select as a header menu item, your wish list is going to appear as a header up here. And if you select as a custom item, your wish list is going to appear at the bottom here. So I'm going to leave it as a custom item. I'll leave it as a custom item. You can see the position here. And then I'll tap on continue. And now you customize the buttons, how you want the button to look. So if you leave it at, as this, you're going to see what it looks like here. Now, if you leave it at this, you see that it changes. If you select this, you see what it looks like here. If you select this, this is what it will look like. And if you select this, this is what it will look like. So I'm going to keep it at this, okay? But it's definitely up to you. And I'm going to switch the color simply by tapping on the color box here and then picking the color that best suits my Shopify store theme or color code, whatever it is that will suit my Shopify store perfectly. I'll just select that. Okay. All right. And then I will select the color of the button when a user has added to their wish list. So I could change that or leave it as it is. Okay. All right. Now, if I move to labels, you can switch or change the label. So instead of saying add to wish list, you can change it to something like wish list this item. Okay, but that's all up to you. You can see it changes the label, right? So I'm going to leave it as add to wish list, but just bear it in mind that you can switch that also. And then after adding to wish list, what will the icon read? It can read added to wish list or whatever you prefer it to be. And now if you tap on social count, you will see where it says display count of how many users have added this item to their wish list. If you look at the right hand side here, you will see the figure nine here. If I uncheck this button, I'm going to see that the figure disappears. So if you want other customers who come on your store to see the number of people that have wish listed an item on your store, simply leave this one checked and then tap on one more step. All right, so we're done. Okay, so now email details. We're going to provide our email details. Choose um, something customers will recognize, such as your store brand name. So you put in your store or brand name there. And then to your, your reply to email, that is which email will receive customer responses. So I'm going to put an email there. This is where I will get customer responses. And then if you have a store logo, this is where you upload your store logo. Just simply tap on upload store logo and you'll be able to do that. And then tap on finish setup. All 
Okay, so once you are done with that, it's going to bring you to a screen like this. And then we're going to test out and see what our store looks like with the wish list icon. So simply tap on this and it will take you to preview your store, what it looks like. So you can see our product on our store. If I tap on it, it's going to come out this way. And then we're going to see our wish list icon come up here. This is it. So this is where what we have just done shows up add to wish list. So if somebody comes on this other page and cannot immediately pay or just wants to add it to wish list so that they can come back and buy it later, then the icon is here and they can simply add to wish list. This is how easy it is to add a wish list icon to your Shopify store. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. I'll see you in the next.